Hello everybody, this is Manuel, all the way from Lincoln, Nebraska. I posted a picture of my rig yesterday, this morning, I don't know, some hours ago. And some people were asking about the setup, and it's a little too complex to just explain via typing, and I'm too lazy to type, so I'm going to make a video instead, okay? And it's not going to be organized, and it's going to be a mess, but that's how it's going to happen, so... Stick around if you want to find out. <laughs> All right, so the setup has a Kronos 288 as the main piece. I just substituted these two guys over here, Phantom X6 and a Phantom G6, that I have been using for several, several years. They've been retired, and now I'm using the Korg Kronos 288. And then I got a little crazy, and I got a Seaboard Rice 49 just because that thing is sexy and I wanted it. <laughs> All right. What else is going on over here? Let's go to this side. We're going to go left to right. Right here we have a Surface Pro 2, an oldie but a goodie. This one right here runs Bitwig sequences. And that way I can trigger scenes. If I need to repeat a chorus or a verse or whatever it is, then I can just trigger that particular scene. And uh, it's a nonlinear way to treat things. Over here, we have an iPad Pro, uh, first generation, 12.9. I'm running the software that runs, or the app that runs our mixer, which is facing the wrong way, but it's down there. It's a Behringer, um, or Behringer, however you want to say it, XR18. Love that thing. And then the other thing that this one typically runs when I'm playing live is this amazing app. Dog hairs everywhere. <sighs> No way to get rid of them. Anyway, uh, this amazing app called uh, Band Helper by Arlo Media. So, um, for instance, last night we played at the Royal Grove with my uh, classic hip-hop band. And then I can get all of the details here that I need, including the um, uh, combi number on the Kronos, etc. Lyrics, notes, blah, blah, blah. All right, moving on. We have the NanoPad, no, sorry, NanoPad 2 connected directly to the Kronos. And I use this guy in two different ways. One way that I use it is, let's go to set list over here. The way that everybody else would use it, which is just to trigger chords when our hands are too busy. So... <laughs> you catch the drift. All right, so that's one way to do it. And then the other way that I'm using it, and I get into a little bit more detail later on that, is to trigger samples, not on the Kronos, but on this Surface Pro, uh, call it 2017, uh, Surface Pro 5, whatever you want to call it, the latest generation. So for instance, if I have California Love loaded, uh, let's wait for that to load over here. There it is. Now I can trigger samples over here. Okay, so. There it is. Going to the next one. Next one. So that's the idea. Now, cool thing about running samples off of the Surface Pro 5 instead of internally on the Kronos is that I can tap tempo. Uh, either with the tap tempo uh, button over here or a pedal that I have designated. So if you look at the tempo right now, it's 93. And I can go 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we're at 117. Okay. Brutal. Let's go back to a regular speed. 94. There it is. I would love to find something to do with the bottom row, uh, with, uh, with the bottom row of pads. If anybody knows how to program these suckers to do something on the Kronos, please let me know. I have no clue. All right, moving on. Nano Control 2 is connected to the Surface Pro 5, which is using uh, Cantabile Performer. It's a VST host, and I have everything programmed on the Control 2 uh, to change volumes, mute, solo, adjust certain parameters of certain uh, um, VSTs, change the main volume, blah, blah, blah. So for instance, if you notice over here, I have a vocal synth. And if I go over here, 
sorry the lights are really bright but right here it says vocoder I can turn it on or off and then I can do over I'm here the vocoder the with the microphone I'm sorry the camera was so close to my face I don't have a clue what I looked like but let's put the phone over here there it is so that allows me to do something like Okay, so Nano Control, one more time, controls everything that I have over here. Beautiful thing about Contabulate Performance is that it's actually touch-based. So you can just uh, move around the screen with your finger and you don't have to worry about missing anything. So I'd rather have the Surface Pro sitting here than a MacBook or a, an actual laptop someplace else. So, beautiful thing. All right, moving on, we have this Keith McMillan keyboard, which I love. And the pretty much, pretty much the only purpose this thing has is to do DJ scratches, also connected to the Surface Pro. So if I go over here and I show you the plug-in, there it is. Vocal hit, uh, UVI workstation, blah, blah, blah. And I can go over here. Awesome. Now, cool thing is that it's also tempo synced to the Kronos. Uh, let's tap tempo to something a little bit faster. Now we're at 112. So much fun. And it comes with a ton, a ridiculous amount of samples that I'll never use. So I typically stick to two or three of them. So that's the Keith McMillan. The Seaboard. Everybody knows what a Seaboard is. I have it programmed to run either Equator over here. Uh, you'll see it right there. Or I'm using also uh, Swam uh, plugins, in this case, the tenor sax. So, so much fun to play this thing. And if I switch to the saxophone, so we turn off the Seaboard. Turn on the sax. And I use this uh, breath controller not to control amplitude but to control the growl. Uh, too much work to put it on, just trust me on it. It sounds amazing. And that's mostly the use that I have for the uh, Seaboard. Um, Alright, we already talked about the Surface Pro 5 running. Um, Cantabile Performer and a number of, uh, of uh, VSTs. Another VST that I use very, very, very uh, commonly is Music Lab Real LPC. So let's go to the set list and load, for instance, um, or no, let's just go over here. Let's say Fight for Your Right. So that will load an electric guitar to support the guitar player in the band and feedback I also have a uh, volume uh, or an expression pedal that I can then um, use as a walk Super awesome plug-in, and I am also using it with the uh, guitar that we haven't gotten to on this side. Let me see if it's working. Not working. Okay, there it is. Okay, never mind. It is working. So I won't wear it because it's too much work, but I'll show you. Over here we have the little dongle for the wireless uh, MIDI. For the guitar, this is an Alesis Vortex Wireless 2. And there's the exact same plugin for Real LPC. I use a separate instance. If you see right there, it says Real LPC Kronos and Keytar because I have them optimized for, you know, the lesser number of keys, etc. Uh, now, speaking of the guitar, 
depending on the song that I'm using, I may also use it to trigger samples. So if we go to something like, let's see where we're at. Uh, please bear with me. Let's say jump around. Okay. So on jump around, once it loads over here. Oh yeah, that's another thing that I forgot to, to mention. So a little segue over here. Everything is uh, program changed from, well, not everything, but a lot of things are program changed from the Chronos. So if I choose a song here, the correct song loads on the VST host. And then my vocal effects also change automatically on the TC Helicon Voice Works unit over here. Makes my life a lot easier. Okay, going back to jump around. Uh, and then we have the scream. So on the guitar, we have the same thing over here. So that allows me to play uh, wandering around like a maniac and being jealous of the guitar players. Not anymore. I still look kind of silly, but it's okay. And um, the guitar uses over here mostly sample tank. Um, I know it's not the best, but it does the job and it's easy to use and load and whatnot. And then I may also program some of these uh, patches to do uh, the scratches, the same plugin that we saw that was uh, being controlled by the keyboard. I may also do the the guitar or use the guitar for that. So let's say bust a move. Now that it loads over here, if I have it programmed right, there it is, bust a move. Now the guitar, I can split it into two zones. So I have percussions over here, then scratches over here and samples over here. Beautiful. Moving on. On the rack, we have TC Helicon. This one, I don't use it so much on the on the hip hop uh, band, but I use it a lot on the top 40 band that, uh, that we do. It does a great thickening of the vocals and uh, harmonies whenever we're too busy playing to, to all sing at the same time. And um, all around great little unit, old as hell. I don't think you can find them anymore, but uh, I bought three of them just in case. Then I have a really cheap uh, wireless uh, in-ear unit from Amazon that works amazingly well. Um, 2000s audio something something I don't know there's the model paid like $170 for it works great uh, AKG uh, wireless microphone receiver and then we have I connect this is really important I connect MIDI 4 plus that guy takes care of routing all of the MIDI from everything to everything just love that thing uh, that thing will take the MIDI from the breath controller I used to have another guitar that used wireless uh, MIDI, and it took care of that too. Uh, it takes the MIDI from the Kronos, uh, et cetera, et cetera. The computers, both computers are connected via USB to the iConnect MIDI 4. So uh, that guy responsible of a lot of things. Moving on, we have one uh, audio interface that is connected to the Surface Pro 5. Then we have another audio interface over here that Behringer... Uh, whatever it's called, UMC 404 HD, yeah, cheap little thing, awesome, that one is connected to the Surface Pro 2 over here running Bitwig, this little mixer right here, that's a $40 mixer that I bought on Amazon that allows me then to have Kronos, Surface Pro 5, Surface Pro 2, and send all of those signals into the next thing down, which is an 8 channel DI uh, rack mount DI box. So we have a uh, synth left and right. I call it synth. It's all of these signals combined to left and right. My vocal click track. And then my wife plays in one of my bands and she has then electric violin, acoustic guitar, vocal, and we have an extra channel there. Moving down, we have a line conditioner from Pile. The thing that I love about this one, I wish I could show you on the back, but I can't right now because it's too dark over there. But it's got 16 uh, power outlets, all of them in their individual little dongle. So you can fit all... So I'll show you what the hell. Let's see if I can do this. You can connect so many big power uh, little warts boxes, etc. And it just... Uh, I don't know. It looks great. 
So, well, maybe you can't see anything. Never mind. Trust me, they're all back there. <laughs> and then back there, I have USB hubs. I have uh, the iLock uh, and whatever the Behringer one or the Steinberg one is called. E-licenser, I think. Uh, an SSD with all of the uh, sample content for the VSTs and a bunch of other stuff. Um, and then that's pretty much it. This this rack right here, this is my wife's, uh, this sounds terrible, my wife's rack. My wife's rack case. <laughs> it also has uh, TC Helicon Voice Works, uh, wireless receiver for the uh, violin, and then her microphone. And like I mentioned, the bottom, bottom rack has the uh, Behringer XR18, which takes care of everything. I think that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, very important. Uh, uh, uninterrupted power supply with voltage regulation. Really, really important to have. Battery chargers, panic button. This guy lets me switch between regular uh, microphone signal when I'm singing and then sending the microphone signal to the quad capture so that I can do all of the vocoder and talk box effects. Uh, expression pedal. I made the cable short so that I can just use extensions on the loom, which uh, you can see right here. Carries okay, so all power, USB, signals, pedals, etc. And we have three pedals over here damper pedal for the Kronos, sustain pedal for the Roly, and then I use this as tap tempo for the Kronos. That's it. Yeah, we made it. 16 minutes and 43 seconds. All right, thank you for listening. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll try to answer the best I can. Have a great night. See you guys later.